Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another BJ and Co Minecraft tutorial video. We are in the dungeons, the dragons, the space shuttles. DDSS. That's that's the that's the, the hipster name for it. <laughs> Uh, we're continuing on our adventure and helping you guys work through all of the different quests in this wonderful, wonderful mod pack. Uh, it's a challenging one, a little bit of an expert one, uh, works your way through stuff, but I love it. It uh, I always love progression, so it's good. Last time we got the energy cell, the solar panel, and uh, all the pieces we need to get a smeltery going. And seeing as we need... Uh, we need to have um, lots of metals going on, I thought first things first, we need to set up a smeltery because we do have quite a few things to work towards and one of them in particular is brass and brass, we need to combine silver and ore and we can't combine them unless we have ourselves a smeltery up and running and I want to show you guys how this works. So last time we got all these wonderful pieces that we can use for it. So we're going to build it on up. Now the pieces they give us initially are enough for a single level, a single layer of smeltery. Uh, I've made sure I have enough bricks to go slightly bigger because I always like two levels myself. Now, smeltery. Uh, it's a multi-block structure. Well, not really multi-block, but we have to make sure we've got the right blocks in the right places. So you're going to need bricks for the bottom. Uh, you can start as small as a one by one if you really want. Uh, two by two works, three by three, you just need to make sure it's square. So we've got kind of a good number of blocks to start with a, a three by three of a good size. I'm keeping a bit away from the walls in case I want to work around it and everything. Um, but now we're going to use these blocks to, where's my tank? Oh, I gotta go find that. Uh, we're going to use this to build build on up the smeltery itself. Um, and you can always... Oh, there it is. Somehow I missed it. You can always expand your smeltery later on. Um, as long as you don't have anything in it. Well, you can do it if there's stuff in it, but you're going to have some troubles with it. Um, and I think you can go to like an 8x8 or something pretty large. Um, so there's lots that you can do. And, uh, but so here, we've got our middle. Now, we need walls for it. The walls don't have to be right on top of the seared brick, but we have to make sure that it's only seared brick that's facing into the middle or other smeltery pieces. So it's not like we could go stone. Like, we couldn't go here because there's no bricks in the way. So it has to be connected nicely. Uh, we are going to go down the side as well. And I am right here going to place on the corner our tank. We have to have a tank somewhere in the outer walls. This is what's going to hold our heating liquid um, that's going to make sure that everything can be heated up and uh, work its way forward. We're also going to put seared bricks down this side. And we also need a smeltery controller, which we've got. This guy, now I'm going to go too high here. Uh, so We'll put the smeltery controller, actually. Uh, no, I want it to go here. Because if I put it here, it's not going to be facing the right direction, I don't think. So, there's our smeltery controller. We need some more seared bricks. So we'll get all the rest of the seared bricks. And we need seared bricks. So this is technically enough. You can see our smeltery is up and running. However, this will only smelt stuff and alloy stuff. We have no way of getting the alloys out. Um, so to do that... We need some drains and i'm going to put the drains up on the second level and there's a reason i've gone up to the second level for this and that's because these drains will be putting the faucets on them and with these faucets we then need stuff to drop into them now we could have kind of embedded these in the floor underneath here and stayed at a level one if we really wanted these the level that these are on don't really matter but i like this because eventually i could put some hoppers underneath here and put a shit out into a chest to help automate some stuff later on. So that's what I like. But in order to get these drains working, we need to be up on the second level. So we just need to fill in the rest of this. And with this, we should have our smeltery. We have a smeltery up and running. Now, to get a smeltery running, we need lava in there first. So I went down, grabbed some lava cells full of lava, and this tank can hold a four buckets total. You can see in here we've got our three buckets. Temperature is 1,000 degrees, so it will start melting things. Some of the higher level pieces um, 
I've seen in some mod packs. Kind of depends what their settings are on the mod pack, and I haven't gotten far enough. But some of them require higher level fuels that burn hotter to actually melt things properly. But for now, this will work exactly for us. And now that we have this smeltery up and running, we're going to deal with some ore. So we need six copper and three silver to get this going. One, two, three, four, five, six, three silver. So hopefully you have this. If not, you can always use JEI to find where these are going to spawn for you. There we go. So this is what we need. And uh, we're going to claim this. Gives us some brass ingots, which is great. Uh, but we're going to go into here, and now we are going to drop this stuff in. You can just move it into this left-hand side. There's enough slots. There should be 18 slots because we're two levels as a 3x3, three three, so 9 per level. Um, so this stuff's going to smelt up, and once it finishes, do 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 it should give us some brass so we got a silver in there first and our copper finishes up you can see what's in here here and now it's converting to brass which is perfect now whatever's on the bottom in the smell tree is what's going to pour out so i'm going to click on the brass oh come on there we go let's get it right into the bottom while the rest of the stuff is just melting up and this should give us enough for plenty of brass now the next steps that we need with the smell tree is to get some oh, bronze age some casts now they said in the previous one bronze is actually cheaper than gold uh in quite a few packs gold is your casting material but brass sorry not bronze brass is the one that we're going to be using here and first things first we want an ingot cast because this is going to be something that's going to get us a lot of uh, stuff out so how do you make a ingot cast there we go we got two blocks of brass so we can uh, use this stuff if you just want to get stuff out if you've got enough we've says we've got two blocks here we can just drop this in here it will fill this up and then start making a block of that material that's super easy in terms of getting ingots we can't get that without an actual cast that will go on this table so if we put an ingot down and then pour it over top of it it will make us a cast based on what's there it does use up the ingot that was in there initially but now we have a cast and the cast is permanent and uh, we won't lose it. There we go. We get our ingot cast and we can use this to get ourselves a ingot of whatever material we're pouring out. So there we go. We've got, uh, we can make an ingot with that. We've got our brass block from that. Wow. My words are not, not working well. Good. Some more iron. Um, and then our next two casts are to make sword blades, wide guards, other pieces. We won't, uh, I won't tackle that quite yet until I make the pieces that we need. You can use anything for the cast, so I believe wood, stone. Wood sometimes might have an issue. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but we'll putz around with that, I think, in the next one or if we have some extra time in this one. But we've got it. We've got a smeltery up and running so we can keep things moving. Now, the next piece and the one that we said we were looking forward to getting quite quickly is this compactor, which means we need the basic circuits. To get these basic circuits... We need, so we're just gonna, we're gonna clear a little bit of space first before I run out of stuff. Sticks back, please, and thank you. Um, we need this stuff for the circuits. So this one, I believe, is at the engineering bench. And I found, in playing our rustic waters, I found something out that I realized I'm completely useless. If you put these side by side, the blacksmiths and the engineers, you can just pop between them, which is so nice, so nice. So we want the basic circuit. In this basic circuit here, we need circuit plates, which we made before. It's just uh, any sort of granite, diorite, andersite uh, smelted in a furnace, relatively easy. We also made the transistors, which is a mixture of uh, iron, gold, redstones, circuit plates, and paper. The electroline alloys, again, we've gotten that uh, now that we've got electroline. And uh, the copper redstone and sawdust that comes from it but the nice thing is at this piece we actually just got three electrine from i want to say it was two quests back yeah from making the energy cell we got the what we need for making those which is not too bad and silicone which is one we've been using for a while um sandy coal compound it's going to be your best friend for that and there we go so this gives us the uh what we need in here it gives us the tools we also need super glue for this one. So I'm going to dump some super glue in. 
and that makes us a basic circuit. And this is something that we are going to need a lot of, so get comfortable with this recipe. I would also recommend if you um, want to make sure that this stays close by, if you're in JEI, uh, if you're looking something up, if you find something you like, the default controls, you just hit A over top of that, moves it to your left hand side, is kind of like a favorites area. So you can always jump back into it and get it relatively easily. Now what's interesting, ah, oh, here we go. So there is other ways to make these things. Uh, the electron is first. You can do it with osmium, which might be a nice thing to do because osmium is, we haven't used it yet, but it's I've seen it in a little bit of abundance. You can do it with mana steel. You can do it with electro silicone and platinum. That seems expensive or vice versa. That makes, well, it makes 40, so that's not too bad. And infused silicone. So some of these we haven't touched yet, but uh, we're getting, it's, it's always good to remember that there are other ways that you can get stuff. We can also do it with the same sort of stuff through the carpenter later on. So this is one that will get us higher amounts of them and could be beneficial once we have the carpenter. But we're not here yet, as you can see. Empowered Anori, we're nowhere near that. So we have finished our basic circuit. Gold or silicone? Um, gold is hard to come by. I've got about 22 ingots so far. Silicone's just more of a pain though, so we're gonna get that. So this is kind of the nice place, is this opens up quite a few different pieces for us. Um, speaking of Inori, we'll need the atomic reconstructor. We'll need some canola stuff. So this one, we'll need to work on, we're gonna need more bronze, red alloys, um, clear laser lens. This one's not too crazy, it's just a bunch of glass. Uh, but it is something that we are going to need quite a few resources for. So part of the reason I got the smeltery going is we need that. We also have the compactor here, which is uh, another one where we're gonna need bronze and iron to get together. We're gonna need some pistons, which pistons ain't cheap. That didn't work properly. Uh, give me the piston again. So more red alloys. So just got to put all this sort of stuff together to make it. We'll definitely make sure. Ah, I like this. If you don't know how to create bronze, look into the following chapters. Uh, doesn't say that in this one though, which is kind of funny. So we need the compactor. This is the artisan automation mods. I don't remember ever completing this. Blank designs. Ooh, I like this. This looks like it's something new added from the first time I played it. But uh, definitely something we're going to work towards. It's going to take us some time. i got to wrap my head around it. But that will allow us to save recipes and stuff, which is great. Um, Bioreactor, not a bad idea to use some food stuff. Engineer's manual is a lever and a book, so we can get this one going, I think. I don't need to go upstairs, silly. So we've got the lever and a book. What else was I going to work on today? Right, that one's not ready to go yet. Um, lever and a book, lever and a book, which is what? Stone? I feel like that's it. Stone and that backwards. Oh, why can't I remember how some of this stuff works? Oh, it's just cobblestone. Doi. Why am I making it harder on myself? Why am I making it harder on myself? We get the lever, and then I'm fairly certain I have a second book hiding somewhere. Where, oh, where are you hiding my books? Or where am I hiding my books? There we go, two books. So we just need a book and a lever, and that gives us our engineer's manual from Immersive Engineering. Doesn't unlock, oh look, more books for us. Ha 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 ha. Uh, now we can start getting hemp and clay and sandstone overflow. Industrial hemp, we have to find in the world. Yay, that's always fun. Or in a fermenter, which we are nowhere near getting. Um, ba ba ba. So we'll need them for a bunch of stuff. So that's something we're gonna work on. 
Uh, immersive villager. I guess we could go searching. We do still have these crates, but I think we can go searching for another village to find some of them. And what else do we have here? Okay, so there's nothing we can do in here. So let's go into the mystical agriculture, which is the other one we said we were going to work on. And uh, let's get some stone seeds going. So uh, I've pulled together what we need here for stone seeds as well as for the other pieces. So stone seeds, we talked about this before. We need a tier one crafting seed. We need four in the corner of what it is. And then we need our stone seeds. Boom, done. Next... Oh, there we go. It did actually complete. So this just gets us a second seed. Nothing crazy, but it'll be nice to have these resources available if we get in a pinch and want to use them. Uh, we're going to work towards Inferium Arrows, which needs mystical sticks and mystical feathers. Feathers are eight around the outside. Sticks are four around the outside. So we need two of these guys. We need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of those. Sticks are done. Mystical feathers. This, we need everything around the outside. So you can see we're kind of going through a lot of our prosperity ore already. We need two of these again. And we should be finished this. Bada bing. So we can claim this. This gets us some more plates, some mystical feathers, some more essence, all the good stuff. The next thing we need is an Inferium Arrowhead, which is Inferium Nuggets which we can get uh, by breaking up an inferium ingot which i believe we do have an inferium ingot we have a couple inferium ingots we'll bring those with us and we said this is the arrowhead so we need two flint as well two flint if we come here we should only need uh let's dump this guy that guy that guy so down here, we need to break one of these guys up and put our flint in the middle. And there's two Inferium Arrowheads for us, which is completed. Gets us more goodie bags, which I'm sure I, sp I didn't spray around this time. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Empty cells. I guess I can dump some of this stuff back here. So now that we have the Inferium Arrowheads, we can make the Inferium Arrows. So we need 24 of these. Luckily, one of these makes 12. So we just need the pieces that we use. Two Arrowheads, two sticks, two of our feathers, which now we have three. Of course, that gets us our 24. I guess I can take this guy back. We've made Inferium Arrows, and we can get... Crystallized Mineral, Inferium Essence, Raw Pork Chops, or Inferium Arrows. I think I'm going to go with the Arrows. It's probably the most expensive thing in here. Pork Chops are easy to get. Inferium is easy. Crystallized Mineral is easy. So we're going to keep those handy. We've got that done. We can't touch any of these. We need ice to make ice seeds. Nature, I need a few more pumpkins, so got to work on farming. So there's nothing we can do here, and I haven't quite got enough Essence. But I can show you that uh, if we walk out here... Everything's been growing, and we can get some wood essence and some more inferium. So this allows us... Actually, I'm going to jump into here, too. Oh, did I seriously get one less cotton seed than I needed? Shame, shame, shame. Oh, I should have planted some more stuff. But that's getting us the wood essence, so we're slowly getting to enough... To a space where we can utilize that wood essence um, to get the wood out of it and progress that one there but i think guys i think that's a good place for us to end it in here we've done some mystical agriculture haven't touched any white ma oh white magic mystical flowers uh we can complete this one as well because we did see uh i did do a bit of a hunting around and we got uh we got some of this finished so if we open up our flower pouch we've got light blue dark blue one white pull those all out into our inventory and this should complete it there we go. So we can choose either a cake, purple wool, or mushrooms. Um, this is mushroom blocks. So I think I'm going to grab that. It's something different. I have all the rest in some fashion. And the next thing that we need here mm -hmm. is petals. And to make petals, we just have to craft these guys in uh, crafting tables. So we need eight, four, and four. So eight white and they do two at a time. So we've got eight white. Four of this. Oop. And 
for this. And that should complete this one for us. We've gotten our petals. Cooked pork chop, loot bag, coin. I think I'm going to grab the coin because, again, pork chops are relatively easy. And this takes us up to the petal apothecary, which is something we're going to have to gain some resources for to make. And that's really going to start our Batania escapades there. So it'll be great that uh, we're getting along this point. So on that note, that's where we're going to end it for today. We've got a lot done. The smeltery, the smeltery is looking good. Looking so good. Mm. Can, we, can we get a nice view? Can we see the molten stuff in it? It's good. It's good. But yeah, so the smeltery, smeltery is working. It's up and working and running, which means now we can start getting all sorts. And this guarantees when you put an ore into it, guys, I don't think I have any on here, that this will get us two ingots out of the ore, which is great. Ore duplication is a thing. It's what we want. So appreciate you guys all being here. If you found it helpful, let us know. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more of these videos and uh, <coughs> and to watch me die at the same time. Sorry about that. Um, the uh, If you want to see, catch us live, uh, we stream over on Twitch twice a week, twitch.tv slash bjandco. We'd love to have you guys there. If you want to join the community, discord.gg slash whole bunch of random stuff. It's down in the link just below. We've got a great community there. We'd love to have you guys a part of it and uh, hang out with you all um but yeah appreciate you being here any questions let us know in the comments below and we'll catch you all in the next one bye